So, gonna leave that there for now. I will move that and find a new place for that uh, in the future. But for now, we've got a decent amount of nether quartz coming in. And we can craft all that nether quartz, of course, into all these nether quartz essence, even into actual nether quartz, which is great. I think that we can now look towards trying to auto craft some solar panels so we don't have to worry about our power situation, right? So, to do this, I do think that getting into applied energetics auto crafting is going to be helpful and circling back around right to the beginning i've just remembered where we were where we were starting and why we we're doing all this we were trying to make acceleration cards for applied energetics 2 acceleration cards to make the acceleration cards we needed pure status quartz uh, pluet we needed not pure but normal flux crystals to make the flux crystals we needed charged status quartz redstone and nether quartz perfect all right Two stacks of Flux Crystals is great, so now we should be able to go ahead and make some uh, advanced cards here. We might not have any calculation processes, we don't, uh, but thankfully those shouldn't be too difficult to make. We do need more pure crystals, uh, and the pure crystals, of course, are made with Surtis Quartz Dust and Sand. We can then throw those seeds that we get into our... We don't have that much sand, actually. I guess we can go and grab some from our Material Stoneworks factories. Again, we should probably also have, like, um, we should probably have like uh, a storage drawer that's collecting like the excess sand gravel and dust because again these are working faster than they need to we are producing excess sand gravel and dust and so it might be a terrible idea to have those uh, collected somewhere just so we can and then have that kind of obviously accessible uh, by the a2 system so we can have that ready to go we'd have to go down and grab it every time we want it but for now we could throw those in there uh, they're gonna take a couple of seconds here but not too long and then once we've got those we can of course make more nice and fast by uh, using the acceleration cards here uh, we are halfway through making some printed logic circuits there um, i do think that we are going to need some more silicon because i'm fairly certain we don't have any we do not uh, we are going to want to grab all of the presses and i should probably put all of these into like a chest that's down by the inscriber and then if memory serves me right we can just smelt up uh, either some nether quartz dust or some regular surface quartz dust and i think that does give us silicon it does nice boom 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 and then that should allow us to make four advanced cards you can put up to five in the inscriber here and i think three in the crystal growth chamber i would like to really upgrade these to make them both as fast as possible i guess we can start out with just putting a few in right and then upgrade as we go yeah, we'll start with the three. And I guess we'll start by... And we can always move them, right, as we're, uh, as we're crafting. All right, boom. That's going to get us just two. Oh, I have to put these in the system, of course. Here we go. Boom. And boom. Nice. So we've got six acceleration cards. And so now, chat, this should be significantly faster. So if we were to go ahead and throw three in here, and then for now, just throw three in here. Uh, if we were to put in our logic circuits, they're now much, much faster nice 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 so real quick i am going to go ahead and make like a stack of pure soda quartz crystals i don't think we're going to need that many calculation processes today but just on the off chance that we do let's go ahead and throw in some sand as well as some soda quartz dust get a stack of, uh, of seeds and then just really quickly go and uh, let those grow in our crystal growth chamber which should now be nice and fast oh it is nice that's gonna take like less than eight seconds also we might have to look towards getting a controller as i mentioned at the start of the stream we don't have one yet and that's why uh, some of our drive cages upstairs are currently not online it might not be a terrible idea to invest in one maybe more i don't know where we'd put it i guess for now like maybe just here and then eventually maybe we'd fill in like the outer ring potentially i don't think we need that many emmy controllers in total so i think like nine or eight here even could could be enough uh, we do need four skystone blocks four pure flux crystals and then one engineering processor and uh, the engineering processor is the only bit of that that we have again the um pure flux crystals should not be too difficult if memory serves me right they're made in the exact same way it's just flux dust and sand which shouldn't be too hard we don't really have one flux dust we'll, we'll uh, you know pulverize some more just for the future but for now if we just go ahead and make I guess four of those, that's fine. And then Skystone, we can make by smelting Skystone. We can make blocks of Skystone by smelting Skystone. And Skystone is acquired by putting uh, the normal Skystone dust into a barrel with some lava. We should still have our stone barrel lying around in here. We do. And as always, we do have buckets lying around as well. And we've got Skystone. Nice. And we've got a bunch of lava. So this should not be too difficult whatsoever. So we'll throw all of those into there. Quickly move over a few of the acceleration cards to make sure it's going nice and fast throw down the barrel, and then use our nice, hefty source of excess lava 
to get ourselves a bit of Skystone. And we need, what, four? Yeah. Perfect. They should be done. It is good stuff. I thought that with control was going to be a lot harder, actually. <laughs> I thought that would be a lot more difficult than it actually turned out to be. So that is nice. Let's go ahead and craft that up. He says as he is not quite ready to make it yet. Boom. Nice. All right. For now, I will put this right here. You can see at the top there, we do have a cable facade here. So if I break and move this torch real quick, actually. We break this. There's already cable there. Throw that in and controller nice i was a little worried that wasn't gonna work there but that is online and good uh we could now connect up two of these i guess if we just went in a straight line here um but we are gonna need more controllers if we want to connect all of them up or unless uh, i might move the controller at some point because this one's kind of hard to access without making the base look weird um but for now it should serve its purpose just fine and if we go ahead and get ourselves a molecular molecular assembler this guy right here Oh, I'm so close. I thought we would have the uh, the formation core. Alas, we do not. But again, should not be too difficult. We did start pulverizing some excess fluid dust earlier. And so the formation core should be fairly easy. Boom. And then molecular assembler. Nice. And then finally, uh, we are going to have to make another annihilation core because in order to make ourselves the interface, we do, of course, need the, form the annihilation core as well. So boom. And... Boom. Nice. So that is essentially all we need really to auto craft, but we do have to make ourselves a pattern crafting terminal or just a pattern terminal, I think it's called, um, as well as some blank patterns in order to set this up. So for now, I'm going to do this and this. Again, we'll find a new location for that at some point in the future just to kind of set it up and get it going. We can put it there for the time being. I know there's a channel there for it to use. And as I mentioned just, uh, just a second ago, we do need to get ourselves a pattern terminal. Uh, which requires a normal ME crafting terminal with an engineering processor. Do we have any more engineering processors? We do. And so really, I don't think, Chad, that this should be too difficult for us to make. I think you could use a, a standard crafting table there. I think both work. Yeah, nice. Uh, formation cores and annihilation cores. We need more formation cores because we just used the last one in making the interface. And then what else am I missing? We should have maybe calculation processors. I don't know if we had one spare from our craft just a second ago. Let's see. Maybe? Oh, we do nice. Anchor pal. That was actually significantly easier than I imagined it being. And for now, I'm going to put this like here. There is no cable here. Please move out of the way, cow. I don't want to kill you. Yeah, there is no cable here. And I actually don't even know if I've shown how to make the, uh, the facades here on stream. These ones. For those who don't know, uh, you can make cable anchors from A2. These guys right here. Fairly easy. It's uh, a nether quartz or silver quartz cutting knife with... An iron ingot. Uh, we do have a cutting knife. It just doesn't shift click in. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, my bad. Never mind. Need to make a new one. Boom and boom. Then you can make some cable anchors and then you just craft the cable anchors like that around the block that you want to uh, make into a facade and you got a facade and then you can just right click and it covers up and blends in with the flock quite nicely. Nice. So now that we have this, we can actually go ahead and encode patterns. So back in our crafting terminal, let's go ahead and look at making some blank patterns. These are not too hard to make. Uh, three glowstone, three iron, two quartz glass, and one setter's quartz crystal. It doesn't have to be pure. Any kind of setter's quartz crystal will work. And so if we go ahead and craft up some of those, again, it does try and pull the pure one first. I'm going to switch that up because I don't want it using the pure one. And so now we can start working on auto crafting parts of the solar panel. So the first tier of solar panel, uh, which is required for making the next tier, uh, unlike with the thermal solars you do, oh no, even with this, you need the previous tier. So you need the previous tier to upgrade to the next tier every single time. And so we need oak wood, redstone, and mirrors. Mirrors, very easy to make with glass and iron. We don't have an unlimited source of glass, so it might well be worth us trying to teach our system how to make glass, just so we don't run into any issues with not having enough. But we can teach it the recipe for mirrors, and we can put that recipe into our ME interface, which is next to our molecular assembler, and we should now be able to craft mirrors. If I go ahead and request three mirrors, click next. Uh, we don't have a CPU, of course, Isaac, you fool. Uh, in order to get any auto crafting done with applied logistics, you need um, some form of crafting CPU. I forget the name of them. Crafting storage is what it's called. Crafting 
storage. Uh, much like with the discs, you've got the 1K, 4K, 16K, and 64K variants. For now, we will go with, um, I was going to say 1K, but it might not be a bad idea for us to upgrade. Oh, I just used all of my pure status quartz crystals. That's fine. Uh, it might not be a bad idea, though, for us to look at upgrading to a 4k variant just because some of these crafts especially if we try and jump in at, uh, at the higher tiers might be a little expensive so let's see yeah i might go through a 4k potentially even a 16k if we're feeling particularly crafty <laughs> uh we also need a crafting unit uh, it looks like we are out of pure status quartz crystals but that is uh pure status quartz processes which are called calculation processes but that's fine we can go make some more Okie dokie. So that should be the crafting unit taken care of. Beautiful. And then we should have what it takes now to make the 4K crafting component. The question is, do we want to make a 16K crafting component? I think I might. I think I might. I do have these in my inventory. I don't think that changes anything, but just on the off chance it does. So we already have one component. So I think we need just five more like that. And then we can make... Two more of these. And that should be a 16K component. Nice. We could try and go for 64, but I think for now 16 might be fine. So again, temporarily, just gonna throw this guy down like that. Um, I don't think we're gonna hit the eight channel limit there. Although we might, our, uh, our storage draw, we, I guess we can check, right? Gunpowder. Yeah, no, it's not. As long as our mob spawner is online, I know we've not hit the channel limit yet. So this is all good. We now have a crafting storage. Um, and so now we should be able to go ahead and request those mirrors that we uh, taught our system earlier. Again, if we go ahead and request three, uh, three mirrors takes 40 bytes. We've got a total of uh, 16,000 bytes available. And so if we click start, it's going to go ahead and make us three mirrors. Nice, nice and fast. So what we need to do now is just teach it how to make everything else in the system right everything else in the crafting chain up to and including the solar panels we want to make so first things first we want to make tier one solar panels encode uh, i'm going to clean my inventory out just a little bit here to make some space for all of this new stuff there we go uh, so tier one solar panel easy enough tier two requires a piston and a bunch of the solar panels so we'll teach you that recipe as well and then the piston should not be too difficult it's not uh, nothing there requires crafting, so that's fine. Tier 3 does add some more hurdles here. We do need the photovoltaic cells, which is glass, lapis, and mirrors. Again, it shouldn't be too bad now that our system knows how to make mirrors. Uh, always want to make sure you're choosing the right ingredients. Um, I was a little worried there that it would try and pull, like, dark oak wood, maybe. But uh, thankfully, it didn't, which is nice. Uh, what else are we missing for the tier three we need a redstone repeater again not too bad uh, does however require stone so we'll bear that in mind we have to teach our system how to smelt stone um, and then also does require keep clicking the wrong one there uh, redstone torches not too bad uh, although it might mean that we have to teach our system how to make sticks and then also by extension planks from sticks uh, so that might be something we have to work on teaching you know what we will do real quick here oak wood can make oak planks it's gonna be useful for the future anyway so might as well get it out of the way sooner rather than later and then planks equal sticks like so we'll use oak planks just because those are the ones that we are growing uh, and those are the ones that we're going to have available in the system and uh, did i teach you the repeater i did okay that's fine we've got the repeater ready to put in and then block of iron is already there um we already have those being made thanks to our compacting drawers and then of course we do actually need the tier three solar panel itself like so. And I think, chat, that we're actually getting somewhere. Uh, that's not correct. That's not how you do that, Isaac. You do that uh, in here. Like so. Now, we have run out of slots, unfortunately. So we are going to have to make another ME interface if we want this to, uh, to work. The question really is whether or not we want to make another molecular assembler. So you kind of run into a bit of an issue here. Or you run into a, a crossroads of deciding what you want to do. So you can, for example, put multiple... ME interfaces around one molecular assembler, and that will allow you to store uh, up to, what is it, three, six, nine, and then you've got, I think, six sides. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And so you can have a total of 54 crafting recipes with one molecular assembler, but the molecular assembler is only so fast, and so if you want it to be even faster, you can instead, if you want, put uh, up to six molecular assemblers onto one ME interface, at which point uh, you can use 
six molecular assemblers to craft one thing. So for example, if I wanted to craft 10,000 awkward planks, it's gonna be a lot faster at doing that if it has multiple molecular assemblers, which I think, which, you know, is, is obviously gonna be faster than one molecular assembler. Um, however, to do that, you do also need some uh, crafting co-processing units, I think is what they're called, co-processing units. Yeah, crafting co-processing units, because by default, the system can't use multiple molecular assemblers from one interface it needs the cast the crafting crop uh, try that again it needs the crafting co-processing unit to be able to use multiple molecular assemblers and so i will go ahead and make at least one of these potentially two of these because i think if you want to be like fully efficient if you want to be able to use all six molecular assemblers you do need to have uh, two ca crafting co-processing units on uh, every single crafting cpu like this guy back here Right now, we've just got the one crafting CPU, but again, if we want to do uh, multiple crafts simultaneously in the future, we are going to need more uh, crafting CPUs. So let's go ahead and make two of these, like so. And then let's go and craft up a crafting. Let's go see about crafting two, crafting co-processing units. And these just form uh, as part of a multi-block when connected to the crafting storage, like so. Forms a nice little multi-block. Again, we'll move those in the future. Uh, but now we really want to make a bunch of molecular assemblers, like really... Potential, like I would like to make five of these. Now the problem now becomes that we need to make, we do need still to still make another ME interface, but we're gonna have to have more molecular assemblers attached to each ME interface. So first things first, let's make another ME interface. Let's not confuse matters too much. Uh, do we have what it takes? We do not, of course, we're missing. I don't know how we've managed to get to having more formation cores and annihilation cores, because I'm fairly certain they're always used like in conjunction, like you never use, or at least I don't think you ever use the formation core without the annihilation core. So I'm not quite sure how that would, how that's come to be. But uh, it seems at some point we have managed to use one and not the other. But that's fine. Uh, do I have all of my presses? I don't. We are out of uh, circuits here. So I'm very quickly going to head down and just make like a bunch of each processor. So we'd have to keep going backwards and forwards here. Uh, so let's grab some gold. Let's grab some diamonds. Let's get some silicon. And let's go make a bunch of processors. And now our circuits should be good to go. They are nice. All right, chat. Let me head back up to the top level and let's see if we can get this going. So, ME interface, formation core. I'm going to make a few of these with that fluid stuff that I've just put in here. Boom. Let's go ahead and make... Oh, gosh. There's, <laughs> let me put all of these in the system as well so I don't have to keep manually placing those in. Let's go make a few of those and a few of these like so and then we'll go ahead and we'll make two more ME interfaces and then how many molecular assemblers can we make i'm essentially going to make as many of these as i can with what we have four and crafting tables of all things are the the limiting factor there eight beautiful okay so what we can do now is we can actually go ahead and move some of these things over so i'm going to take all these encoded patterns out i'm going to break this and i'm going to break this now i'm also going to move this because this is kind of in the way right now i'm gonna do just to make this like a little visually easier i'm gonna move these downstairs kind of just out of the way for the time being i'm gonna stick them like on this line here which might well just be more awkward but that's fine we'd actually need to access this this is just gonna do its thing in the background there so that's all connected up up here what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something like this with the me interface in the middle and then we're gonna surround it like this with molecular assemblers. If I'm not mistaken, it's only the molecular assembler that counts as a channel. So this isn't like seven channels being used here. It's just one channel and then a bunch of molecular assemblers around it like so. Um, the only problem with this is that you can't actually access the, the ME interface in the middle to put the patterns in. Uh, you can make a pattern terminal, which allows you to access those remotely. But for now, we can just go ahead and break one of these and stick these in manually like so. Uh, we do still, of course, run into the issue of not having enough space, and so that means we do have to put down another ME interface somewhere. And so for now, chat, I'm going to put it directly opposite, like this. And eventually we will put down multiple molecular assemblers around that as well, but for now that will do just fine. And we do connect it up, of course, with ME cabling. So once more, we'll move our torch, break this, and we should, if we get some ME cable, be able to hook this up. And also cover it up. Nice. And so now we can make, we can put in more, more patterns, right? So what do we have right now? I'm going to break this again temporarily. Let's have a look. So we've got tier one, tier two, and tier three 
all taken care of. Those are all ready to be auto-crafted, I believe. Again, we've got a couple of issues uh, like glass and stone, which we'll take care of in a second, but I think for the most part, uh, those are all ready to go. Um, but we do now need to look, oh, we do. We should have a blank pattern for, we should have a pattern for sticks as well, which apparently um, I did not create or I have somehow lost. So I will go and make one of those again real quick. Boom. And uh, we're probably gonna need some more blank patterns in here in a second as well, but that's fine. They're not too difficult to make. Uh, and so if we look at tier four, what do we need now? Of course, we need just the actual tier four craft, like so. We also need the tier four photovoltaic cells. Clay is another thing that I don't think we have automated at least. Like we don't have the ability to get a lot of it automatically. We can get a lot of it fairly easily by crafting manually, but that is something we are gonna have to bear in mind uh, if we want to uh, have this be fully automated. But uh, for now, that's fine. We've got the whole craft. We need to auto craft clocks, like so. Not too bad. And then we're finally at the point where we need more patterns. The toughest bit is just keeping track of all of the uh, all of the items that still need to be auto crafted. If only there was a terminal to see all your patterns. I, I know that. I know. <laughs> you know what? Sure, let's do it. Uh, you can make, as I mentioned earlier, you can make a uh, ME interface terminal, uh, which needs an engineering processor, an ME interface and an illuminator panel. I think we actually have all of that stuff we do. So that's actually a lot easier than I was making it out to be. So for the eighth time today, we'll move that torch. And then if we go and do this and this, there's now an interface terminal so we can see uh, all of the uh, stuff that we have in our current interfaces. Very nice indeed. It does mean we can go ahead and put this uh, like back on there now. We can just see what's in here like that. Uh, so blank patterns are ready to go. Back over to solar panels. Where were we? We've got the actual recipe. We've got the clock. Blocks fine, we don't need. Tier three is done, that's done. Okay, so right now, uh, clay, sand, uh, clay, stone, and glass are the only things that we don't have automated, I think. And so moving over to tier five, we of course need the actual tier five craft. Blocks of gold should not be too difficult uh, because our system already has it. And then this photovoltaic cell is fine. Obsidian, we do actually have automated, but not hooked up to the system. So we will have to hook that up if we want to be able to use that uh, automated setup. And then other than that, I think that's it for tier five. And then finally, tier six, which is the one I want to craft today, or where we're going to stop because we don't have uh, Dragon's Breath. Uh, we need to get, of course, the recipe itself. And I think the only other thing we need here is this tier of photovoltaic cell, which is the same as the last tier. Photovoltaic cell three and photovoltaic cell three. Uh, no, photovoltaic cell four. Ah, this one's different. Here we go. Boom. For that, we do need to teach our system how to make blocks of quartz as well. Everything else that I think we already have. Um, do we have blaze powder? I think we do, right? Blocks of quartz. And then, yes, we've got 10,000 blaze powder. Perfect. All right. Boom, boom, boom. And so I think, chat, that that might be everything. Maybe. Is that everything? Tier six. I think that's everything. We can check if that's everything by going ahead and typing in solar panel. And then if I click on the tier six solar panel and click next. So we're missing like a thousand glass and we're missing clay and we might be missing stone. A redstone lamp. Ah, we need the redstone lamp for the solar panel. Oh, that's so annoying because we just run out of space on this ME interface. It means we're gonna have to put down one more ME interface, and obviously some more molecular assemblers with that if we're gonna make this work. That's fine. Uh, do we have an extra ME interface? Did I make too many? No. But thankfully, they're extremely easy to make if you happen to have enough annihilation cores, which now we do. Nice, all right. So for now, we will put this down. I'm gonna have to make, um, you know what, sure. Let's make a bunch of molecular assemblers. Let's try and make this really as fast as we can. So let's make a bunch of formation cores. Uh, we should already have some more fluid dust. We do a bunch of annihilation cores. And then a bunch more, well, crafting tables as well are necessary, which I think we already have molecular assemblers. Of course, it's a crafting tables every time. We're gonna make a stack of crafting tables, or I would make a stack of crafting tables if uh, we had the wood for it, which we do, but just not in plank form. All right, perfect. There we go. That is enough molecular assemblers. Boom, boom, and boom. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Boom, 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 boom. And if we get this cow out of the way, boom, nice. Again, we do have to connect that up with cable. And we might 
be running close to the channel limit here because on this side of the controller we've got one two three four five i think we're only at six and so we should be fine for now i think we're also out of cable again not a problem very easy to make if you click the right recipe and four is more than enough boom boom and i would like to if possible cover that up uh, do i have more covers i do not but i do have what it takes to make more covers i don't think i have any more of this uh stone in the system oh i do nice i got 64 beautiful okay boom boom look at that it looks beautiful so 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 finally chat i think we're getting somewhere here we go so we can see our interface here so we can just put them directly into here we don't have to put them uh, into the actual interface there uh, what were we missing we were missing a lamp i believe is what we were missing for the tier 6 solar panel the redstone lamp which shouldn't be too bad we do need to teach our system how to make glowstone blocks uh, actually i think we already have glowstone blocks right yeah these are already going into a compacting drawer so that is fine we can put this directly into here and so now i think finally the only thing that we're missing if we were to go and request a tier 6 solar panel the only things we're missing are glass clay and we do have enough stone but we should really automate stone for the future anyway so 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 we were mentioning earlier that it's probably going to be a good idea if we set up a few more material stoneworks factories to automatically produce uh, the sand no, not the sand sorry the uh, the glass the stone and potentially even use it for clay as well because clay can be made um, of course by putting dust into a stone barrel which isn't too difficult to do if you automatically make the dust with a material stoneworks factory so how much pink slime do we have we got 17 thanks to that uh, nice little uh, glitch that we were uh, made aware of in a previous stream and so i think it shouldn't be too hard for us to make three more material stoneworks factories what do we need uh we need quite a bit of stuff but i think all of that is going to be very easy for us to do getting three machine frames super easy uh getting all the plastic again very easy indeed we've got so much dry rubber now that getting plastic sheets really shouldn't be a problem for us going forward whatsoever and i still love how fast our furnace is it is ridiculously fast throw those back in there and so now i just think we're missing the pickaxe as well as of course the buckets of water and the buckets of lava if possible i would love to be able to get all of those at once unfortunately we've only got five buckets although this fire water does strike me as somewhat unnecessary right now but you know what i'll we'll, we'll work with it all right one two three and then let's go quickly grab two buckets of lava we'll come back down for that last one in just a second here but this should work out quite nicely for us i think one two and then if we're gonna grab that last bucket of lava three nice okay so we've now got oh, we already had a spare one apparently that's fine we've now got four material stoneworks factories so if we want these to be accessible by the a system we really want them to be connected to our main storage network that being this area down here and i'm thinking about where i want to put these because for example we could just put one of them like here like we could just put a stoneworks factory there and that would work if we set the top here to just like a, if we change this to just a normal storage drawer we could output just directly to the top right we can have cobble turn into gravel gravel turn into sand and then sand smelt into glass like that that would work and i might do that actually i might get rid of like this one this one uh maybe this one and this one although that one's already got stuff in it it might be better to do and that one's got bomb in it as well maybe this is a tape situation maybe i might have to move this with some packing tape but uh the only one that we can't really do here is is clay because clay requires a bit of external setup as well but sand and stone or glass and stone we can do here that's gonna be easy enough uh, the clay though is gonna prove a little bit more tricky and might require like its own kind of like behind the scenes setup but it, uh, it really won't be too difficult for us to do if we just go and do something like this and like this again they don't need to be on the machines i could have put them here but i kind of want them out of the way that should start providing these with power it is beautiful and then this i think maybe i do need an auto eject upgrade i could have oh no i guess let's have a look is there an auto eject upgrade oh there's like uh oh there are extra add-ons here as well the energy field add-on leaf shearing add-on item stack transfer item stack transfer add-on is that the one i want pull up slash down I guess I want item stack transfer add-on push. Is that what I assume we want here? Two items per 10 ticks. It's not quite fast. Not very fast though, is it? I'm sure, it, is it, does it just make more sense for us to use 
uh, the item conduits, though. Like, just like this. Disconnect that. Disconnect that. Set that to insert. And then just extract always active. Make sure we have this down somewhere nearby. And I, oh, as always, I, we've, got, we've got to make sure that the, the back for everything that's not glass is turned off so that it only pulls out the glass. Excuse me. Extract, always active, insert. The drawer is locked, Isaac. You fool. Of course. All right. Chat, apologies. There we go. Okay. I do agree the conduit doesn't look great. Um, I might... Uh, we can always cover it with conduit facades in the future, though. And it's kind of, you know, it's it's, it's not... It's, it's, it's hidden away, right? So for now, I'm, I'm fine with this um, for the time being. Boom. Yeah, and we'll do the same thing here. This is fine. We're going to have to have a bit of an awkward setup for um, the clay anyway. And so trying to make this super clean, I don't think makes too much sense. At least not right now. Again, let's not forget to overcome the fact that that's already locked. Um, right now, we are limited to only 512 because of the fact this is a, a four quadrant storage drawer. Uh, we could just replace this with a standard storage drawer, which is something I might do at some point, uh, or even just dedicate all four slots to uh, sand or stone. Either would work. And so let's think, where do I want to put this? I guess for now, for the sake of somewhat making this symmetrical, I'm going to put this directly opposite and I'll move my bed in just a second here, but we'll put down the stoneworks factory here. And then this one is going to be a little weird in that we're going to have this produce dust. So cobble to gravel, gravel to sand, sand to dust like that. And then, of course, I'll put this further up just so like it's out of the way. That's going to produce power. Then we want to pull out the dust, of course. Disable that. Uh, so let me really quickly make sure that we set everything that's not dust to off. That's going to make sand. It's quite slow right now. We could put speed upgrades, of course, and more energy upgrades into all of these as well. If they're uh, not fast enough. Let's go pull out the dust. We then want that dust going into a wooden barrel. I don't think actually i think it might I, i'm wondering whether or not it needs to go to the top of the barrel i think it might not need to go into the top of the barrel so for now i'm going to do something like this like this and try not to fall off the edge isaac like this that's going to fill up with water and then ideally here chat we go insert and then we go extract always active that's going to make clear beautiful and then this compacting drawer is already in use. I was hoping we might have a spare compacting drawer because I'm assuming, actually I can probably undo this compacting drawer because this one's just holding titanium ingots, which we don't actually have that many of. I only put it in there to kind of fill out the, uh, to make it all look symmetrical. So I think what we can probably do is repurpose this compacting drawer and make it into, I'm gonna lock it real quick just so I don't, just so like nothing else gets put in there. But if we put in clay, that makes the clay available in ball form and then all we have to do is get rid of this put it back down and then this time we go to extract always active on the green channel specifically and then here we're going to insert on the green channel but then we're going to extract on the brown channel uh, always active and then here we're going to insert on the brown channel so now the way this should be working as it is is the dust is made in here of course that dust is then put into the wooden barrel which is filled with water from the unlimited water source of the sink that's going to make blocks of clay those blocks of clay and then pumped into the compacting drawer the compacting drawer has them available in both block form and in individual clay ball form beautiful and so now we should already have we should have an unlimited source of glass stone and clay being made automatically nice now we're nowhere near the amount of glass we need. I think when we last checked, we were 1,000 or over 1,000 glass shy, right? Like if I go back and type in solar panel again and try and craft a tier six solar panel, um, we are missing 826 glass. So we're a little ways away from having uh, all of the glass ready to go. Uh, let's have a look and see if we have what it takes to make a few more of the energy upgrades here to make this just a little bit easier on the Stoneworks factory, specifically the one uh, that's making glass. I think I do to make two of these, if I'm not mistaken, because the upgraded version of this oh uh, we need another base add-on which is fine does require another one of these just with some diamonds yeah nice and we can also make speed upgrades as well uh, we are kind of at this point running close to uh, probably not having enough redstone flux to power all of this stuff like even though everything is just requiring 80 redstone flux per tick i think we are getting to the point where we maybe don't have enough we're only producing 300 right so we can only like run 3.5 uh, RF transmitters fully. 
Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so that's making glass faster, which is good. Uh, we would have to, you know, temporarily do something like this, just so that we can fill that up with 2048 glass. That's like the max we can put in there now, um, which, you know, we don't need just yet, but we're getting close to it. Again, that we can't go above 60. We can't put in the other speed upgrade because at that point it's going to require 90 with some flux of tick. And right now we, uh, we can't transfer more than 90 with our current RF transmitters. And so for now, this is really the fastest it can get. And so in the interest, like eventually that will be, I'll do the same here actually. Uh, eventually this will be fine. Like eventually this will have 2048 backed up and we should be able to craft pretty much whatever we like. But for now, just so we can get to actually crafting this tier six solar panel in today's session i'm gonna quickly go and like start ah oh, this is already not backing up on sand anymore which worries me a little bit i think we're kind of again i think we're kind of hitting a bit of a power limit here it might not be a terrible idea chat for us to auto craft the first like a lower tier of solar panel and then just set it up just to get our power situation sorted out so for example do i'm assuming we don't have what it takes to make a tier five we don't but we're a lot closer with the tier five like we're only missing a little bit of uh, a little bit of glass, like seven take. Do we have any sand in here still? We do actually. So never mind. I'm just gonna throw this in our furnace, and that should get us nice and quickly to the point where we can. I keep forgetting as well. We get double the glass out of our zenith furnace. Holy heck! And that should get us to the point where we can make a tier five. How far away are we from tier six? Still 400 glass. Okay. Again, we need the tier five to make the tier six anyway, and this is a good chance to put our system to the test this takes just shy of 4,000 bytes and so i'm not quite sure how long it's going to take hopefully not too long it does require me crafting 128 tier one solar panels but hopefully with the crafting core processing units and with all the molecular assemblers we have hopefully this won't be too bad uh, we can if we wanted to put acceleration cards into all of the molecular assemblers but i think that is getting a little ahead of ourselves for the time being let's just see if we can make one tier five solar panel it will of course make two because of the fact that uh, you make them in sets of two anyway. But you can see it's going, getting to work. It's making the things that need to be made. Um, you can see it's using most of these. This one's not being used just yet because this one's only going to make lamps. <laughs> so like this one, uh, we, should, we could have probably spread this out better, like spread out our patterns better to make uh, more efficient use of our molecular assemblers. For example, putting some of these other patterns into this interface um, would probably make the system faster. But if we go down to our CPU, we should get some idea of where we're at. And you can see it's crafting these uh, oak planks pretty quickly, actually. Oh yeah, it's almost done. Look at that, that was not bad at all. That was not bad at all. That was definitely significantly faster, like orders of magnitude faster. We got two of them there. Uh, orders of magnitude faster than we could have crafted that manually. And so now we can just go and do like this and this makes sure these sides are set to input like so. And suddenly we're getting a lot more redstone flux per tick, right? Suddenly we're actually getting too much redstone flux per tick because now with this, this, and this, uh, we're producing... Oh, this is not quite generating 500 yet. Uh, at max speed, this setup can produce 1,300 redstone flux per tick and the energy sum can only accept 1,000 redstone flux per tick. So this system is a little flawed right now it's the end of the day which is why these are not producing 500 yet but uh, we are gonna have to look into upgrading this energy cell uh fairly shortly here especially once we get to the point of, uh, of having those tier six uh, solar panels that can produce you know 2048 redstone flux per tick uh how far away in that case then are we for maybe being able to make the tier six solar panel we're of course missing a lot of glass so it's weird right at this point wait let me hold on solar panel how many tier six tier fives need to make a tier six you need four tier fives so although i've just made these and just put these down let me go check on the uh before i do anything crazy let me go check on the uh the glass here how are we doing on glass we're doing okay on glass it's going quite fast definitely could be faster though it's a little annoying we don't have um flux points in this pack so there's no way we can transfer power wirelessly with flux points uh, people did point out spectre coils are a way that we can transfer power in this pack um, and transfer more than the default 80 you can see this one does 1024 4096 and 20480 so i think we might want to look into these sooner rather than later does mean we need to get some ectoplasm which i think is gonna be best if we can get this from a spectre sapling you can get it when you kill an entity with magic 
for example, potions. But I think if we can get the Spectre Sapling and just put that onto a Hopping Bonsai Pot, that would make our lives a whole heck of a lot easier in terms of getting a large amount of ectoplasm to make multiple spectre coils. Um, it does mean, however, that we need some tainted soil, which is witch water and dirt. So I think that's something I'm going to work on potentially in the next stream. Uh, I should sleep in my bed because we are producing no power at night. And then I guess we should also uh, start... I'm gonna, so I'm going to take this down. This here, this setup, uh, I'm going to find a new place for it because of course this is not where I want it to stay. I don't want to be, you know, producing nether quartz up here forever. I'm going to move that. Between episodes, I'll try and find a place to uh, to put that, like a new area on the island somewhere where we can start growing all of our mystical agriculture seeds um, because we can, we can obviously expand out to doing more than just nether quartz, right? We don't have to just produce nether quartz. We can produce all kinds of mystical seeds uh, at some point in the future. Very disappointed that we didn't get any chickens. Like, no... No, like nothing. We got nothing whatsoever on this island here. I mean, to be fair, this island is pretty bad and very small. So could probably do with some work to try and get us some actual chickens in the future. But I did want to hopefully have the angel ring by the end of today's stream. Alas, it looks like it's not going to come to fruition because although getting a bat is going to be very easy, we actually have a spawn bat now um, and getting a ghast shouldn't be too hard and getting a squid uh, also shouldn't be too bad. The fact that we don't have a chicken has really stifled us here. So I think I was going to have to wait until a future stream at this point, unfortunately. Um, but before we wrap up today's stream, I would very much so like to get to the point where we have two tier six solar panels and are producing like just over 4,000 redstone flux per tick. So if I put both of these tier five solar panels back into the system, how close are we to making the tier six variant? We actually have everything it takes. So again, start craft. This should actually be very quick due to the fact that we've already done most of the crafting, or at least half of the crafting, um, with the tier 5 solar panel. Let's go check. Yeah, so we, we, it'll take about the same amount of time, I guess, because we did half of it by making the two tier 5s before. It needs to make two more tier 5s, hence it's making the 115 uh, solar panels here. I think there is some optimization to be done here. I think we can make this whole setup faster by spreading out our patterns, or maybe even duplicating the patterns a little bit so that like multiple interfaces could make oak wood, or even just having... Uh, different things be made at different times. I think right now we're slowing ourselves down artificially by having one interface solely making redstone lamps. But uh, again, that's something I could work on and look at uh, optimizing between streams. We are almost there. And boom, nice. Oh my goodness, chat. Making redstone, making power has never been so easy. Look at this. We have got two tier six solar panels, each of which produce 2,048 redstone flux per tick. Boom. And boom, again, this thing can take in only a thousand hours per tick. So right now that's way overkill. Uh, we would have to get uh, an upgrade kit of some description to make that even close to usable. Uh, do we have what it takes real quick here to make a hardened upgrade kit? I'm not quite sure. I think it goes up to 4,000 if you have a hardened upgrade kit. We might even be able to go up to a reinforced upgrade kit. We need Electrum. Thankfully... Electrum is very easy, and we have ourselves an induction smelter. So boom, and boom. We only need the one ingot. And I think, I'm not quite sure what the uh, the numbers are uh, in the tiers here, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's 4,000 RF per tick for the hardened. And then it might be like 10,000? I actually have no idea. Let's have a look. So hardened takes it up to 4,000, and reinforced takes it up to 9,000. So just shy of 10,000 redstone flux per tick. These are both producing the max 2,048 redstone flux per tick, plus the 300 here. So we're producing uh, close to 4,500 redstone flux per tick right now, which is very nice indeed. As mentioned before, the only thing holding us back now is the speed at which we can transfer this around our base. Um, I would like to, if possible, avoid having just like energy conduits running all over the place. And so I do think that one of the things we're going to have to work on in the next episode is Spectre Coils, right? So we can transfer our power uh, all over the base at a much higher rate than what we're doing now. That's going to allow us to speed up all of our stoneworks factories, which in turn is going to allow us to make more solar panels nice and easily um, and thus generate even more power. And then after that, we could look at getting some Dragon's Breath moving up into uh, the higher tiers still of solar panels. You know, we can look at making uh, the tier eight solar panels, which again, are not too bad. They do require blaze rods, which as of right now, uh, I guess we'd have to make with the compactor. So we'd have to teach our system how to do that. But uh, really the only hard part about making these is the dragon's breath, which until we get into project E and EMC, we're going to have to get manually, of course, to make all of these. Like we can't automatically make these any other way. I don't think at least outside of, of EMCing them. Um, and so 
That's probably going to be our bottleneck into automatically making higher tiers of solar panel. Uh, dragon eggs, you can make from dragon egg seed, so we could even auto-craft those, but uh, how far away are we from being able to make something like a condenser? I assume quite far. I mean, the 64k ME storage components are not difficult. How expensive is the Philosopher's Stone? So there are certain things here that we, of course, don't have yet. Like, we haven't got into Abyssal Craft, so that's going to be difficult. Uh, the Crystalline Ingot, I don't think, is too hard to make. Osmium, Lapis, Cobalt, Pure Soda's Quartz, and Diamond Lattice. So that's not too bad. The Supremium, of course, takes a lot more mystical agriculture work that we haven't done yet. Uh, the End Star doesn't seem too bad at all. Resonating Gems. We do have to go through a few mods yet. I think we've got to go through Embers. Uh, we've got to do a little bit of Astral Sorcery and, of course, some Abyssal Craft to get all of this stuff here. So we're a little ways away from getting into... Uh, the energy can enter and getting into some Project T, but this is not too crazy, all things considered. This is not a terrible crafting recipe. It's one that we could definitely uh, see ourselves, or I can see us making uh, not in the not too distant future.